here we go. This is a video. Uh, this is actually uh, talking about the new Wrath of Liching LFG system. For you guys that didn't know, uh, they're not doing the LFG system for uh, for. Uh, rapid of Lich game at least on, on release the only concern that i have is players that are playing a really unbalanced faction like it's a well populated server but 99 percent of the players are one faction so like if you're part of that one percent or three percent people that's like alliance or horde and whichever fa whichever server you're on like your experience in the game is really bad and LFD made that easier. So I hope they have a way for people like that to be able to, uh, you know, either leave that server or play with other people. Here we go. Going into Wrath of the Lich King, Blizzard has fully moved into doing things as hashtag some changes. Which and is frankly, good. they've ended up changing a lot of things in a really positive way. Having I like how he didn't mouse over it, but he showed it with the body types one and two. I don't know why body type 2, you can't have a bare chest. That's crazy, isn't it? Isn't that weird? There's like no option for that. I tried to I tried to look and there's none. Death Knights in the pre-patch, cooldowns resetting after a boss encounter ends, changes to Winter Grasp to make it more accessible, and so on. And I'm all for it. If you yeah, want a different game from retail, it's got to start doing things differently. This, to me, points towards Blizzard wanting to take Classic long-term, not just, hey, let's do Wrath and then wrap it up. In fact, I strongly believe they will do Kata and beyond. But today, I feel very uncertain about whether they're going to do Cataclysm or not. I think that if you looked at like, let's say 100% of people wanted classic vanilla WoW. Like, I'd say 90% of people want classic Burning Crusade. And then maybe 85 to 80%, probably closer to 85, a lot of people have like really good nostalgia of Wrath, of like wanted Wrath of the Lich King. I feel like in Cataclysm, that 85 to 80% goes down to like 50 like, I view, like, Vanilla, BC, and Wrath as, like, the original trilogy. And then after that, the game changed. So I don't, I'm not as certain as he is about them releasing classic, uh, classic Cataclysm. I find it unlikely. Yeah, 25%. Yeah, a lot less people want classic Cata. I feel like the nostalgia wears off after Wrath of the Lich King for a lot of people. But if they were like, okay, so after Wrath, um, we're going to have Mr. Pandaria... And then after Mr. Pandaria, we're going to have Legion. And people are like, what about Cataclysm or, or, or Wad? Well, what do you mean? Yeah, what, what, what do you mean? Yeah, no, th yeah, th so this is the release schedule and uh, that's just about it. <laughs> yep, problem solved. Today we have a topic which I already know has solidly divided the community. Yeah. Something which it's easy to remember as a core feature of Wrath as an expansion when it didn't initially release until right near the end. The yeah, yeah, this didn't come out until like whenever ICC was released and it had been out for a while. Looking for Dungeon Tool. Almost everything you see online has people arguing back and forth about oh, yeah. its inclusion or lack thereof in this expansion. The forums, Reddit, I even ran a poll a while ago and more people were in favour of having this feature make a return than leaving it out. But Blizzard, thus far, has remained adamant that the LFD we once knew will not be in Wrath. I don't think that you need LFD, I just think that you need a good group finder. Like, I, I, for example, not having it be automated, I, I think is probably okay, but I don't see why, like, you can't just, like, queue directly into the dungeon, because there were a lot of advantages. I think that LFD back then would teleport you to the dungeon, I'm pretty sure it did, and that was a really big bonus on its own. And it will instead be replaced with an LFM type feature, not too dissimilar from what they have on retail. In yeah. a previous video, I've said, let's see what they will do. Let's see what their vision is for this new system. And then we can talk about it. Well, I've seen it and it's time to talk about it. Let's cover everything known about the new LFM system, the okay. good and the bad of how it currently works and what I would have liked to see. Before we continue, a quick word from today's sponsor, Dragon Raja. Dragon Raja is a free-to-play MMORPG available on mobile and PC. Developed with Unreal Engine. I love how it has, like, just a random guy in a suit walking through a fucking tundra that's... Like, there's, like, this guy with a scythe and he's a, a worm. 
Dungeon 4 Dragon Raja is an industry-leading title that combines the ease of access of mobile games with the graphics you can find on PC I don't know your about pocket. that. Featuring a wide open world, an innovative and diverse career system, and tons of customization options, Dragon Raja truly has something which will fit every type of player. This latest month's update in Dragon that. Raja is the Rainbow Route, an easy way for players trying the game to have access to some rich rewards. Dragon Raja currently features 11 different classes from spellcasters to ninjas, warriors, and more. You can also team up with others and take on PvE encounters or PvP. The career system goes well. What a surprise it has PvP. I wonder if it's uh, equalized beyond what MMORPGs usually have. Not only do you have your standard ones like chef, but also bartender, or artist, or even a blogger. Dragon Raja has a huge open world to discover. Wait, in this game you can be a blogger as a class in a video game? I mean, I guess we have like Goat Simulator, and like Farming Simulator, and Trucker Simulator. So, like, what do you do as a blogger? Like, you just, like, sit in your house all day, you go to Starbucks, and, you know, you leech their Wi-Fi because you can't afford it at home because you don't make any money? Like, I, I don't know. But with endless possibilities. Jump through the world with parkour or soar above others by gliding. You can also use these codes for free in-game rewards. These will be below in the description as well as the pinned comment. You can download Dragon Raja right now on the following link and start your next adventure. Many thanks to Dragon Raja for the sponsor today. Let's talk WoW. Absolutely We incredible. should start with a quick reminder of what the true to last patch Dungeon Finder resembled from Original Wrath. It's I think that the problem with Dungeon Finder, and this is what happened in Cataclysm, is that I actually... Going back, there was a few bosses that were really hard. I think the best example was like Azuruk in Stonecore. He was like the third boss after the dragon. He was really hard to beat. Like, actually, like, it was a, a genuinely hard boss. However, a lot of the other bosses were not hard. The Cataclysm Heroics on release were not hard. The problem was that the random dungeon finder put you in a group with a bunch of other dumbasses that didn't know anything, and it was really hard to do in a random group because you had to CC a few mobs and, you know, like, maybe have a little bit of planning at the beginning. So that's what the issue was. Like, I did this all the time with my guild. We never had trouble with the heroics. Like, except for that one boss. That boss was a motherfucker. But besides that, it was okay. So I think the problem really is that grouping people up in a random dungeon finder, whenever the dungeon finder creates fail states at too high of a rate. Like, there was such a high rate of fail states with the dungeon finder in Cataclysm. That's why the dungeons got nerfed. It's the same reason why people didn't want to do Halls of Reflection or the Oculus back in Wrath, is that it just had a very high rate of fail states. That's all it comes down to. Really simple, in fact. There are bonuses in the form of badges for random or daily dungeons. You pick your role, pick whether yeah. you want any random do or specific dungeon from normal or heroic, you press Q, that? Yeah. and that is it. As a tank, you wait roughly two seconds, a DPS about 20 minutes, and healers like somewhere in minutes. between. Yeah. You pops, you press accept, you get teleported to the dungeon, and you begin. Easy. It would also search cross server to greatly improve queue times. And then at the end of the dungeon or upon leaving, you're teleported back to where you were originally it really was you push a button and you get teleported to a dungeon here is our new version let's start with the good stuff straight away there's more to this than just being a dungeon finder this tool covers all group based activities from dungeons raids open world pvp i will say that for high end like end game players i think like not having a dungeon finder is like kind of okay but for like if you're like level 47 you're realistically not going to do Maradon unless there's a dungeon finder that cues you over there. You see what I'm saying? There's, there's like no way you're going to go out of your way to go do Maradon. So, I, and, and like, I think it's better and it's good for players while they're leveling up to do the dungeons. Because I just think it's a more well-rounded, fun experience than not doing them. So if they had the group finder for uh for, for like lower level dungeons i would be totally fine with that it that's actually kind of like what we have right now in retail wow is like the group finder nobody uses the, the group finder for dungeons except for low level players 
because mythic you have to run to the dungeon uh mythic plus you have to run to the dungeon whenever you think about it that's what everybody's doing like they're probably either even like casual players are probably doing mythic zeros or mythic twos or threes so nobody's just like spamming heroics constantly at least i feel like there's not that many of those people and um they don't even see that so i think that the i i think that making it to where lower level players can use the dungeon finder is probably a good thing and then maybe by the time that like old war comes out or toc comes out where people have like a higher baseline of gear maybe the random group finder would be more okay because that way you will have people that are better geared and you will have less fail states with the group finder because you just again you don't want to have it feels really bad whenever you get queued into a group and everybody is undergeared and they're bad and you keep wiping and you can't do anything about it and blizzard put this group together for you and you can't kick extra people out because of the vote kick restrictions it just sucks and um goldshire stuff each tab gives good options on all available content including old world content such as open world pvp objectives or vanilla raids if you ever wanted to do those for some reason yeah. now in order to post in the lfg channel players will have to be listed on the group finder somewhere which should significantly cut out the amount of spam that will be seen the create listing part of the tool is fine to me it gives enough options and there's a text box where you can add extra yeah. bits on it does its job there's also good reporting options available on the ui you can get rid of any want to sell spam fairly easily side note i'm assuming this tool becomes available at level 10 or 15 i forget exactly what it was originally but if it's for all content it will be available at a low level i'm quite sure about that on yeah. retail they had to add a bunch of restrictions as to who can post in the lfm to stop people selling services then which is like i i think that's crazy it it's insane to me that because like the lfg like this is a global listing or like a region-wide listing. How is it that one person per like eight hours, right? In an eight hour shift, can't just right click and remove the accounts that are selling things. Why can't you just hire one person and have them just click and remove that? I, I don't understand it. Again, if you do need to be at least levels 10 or 15, that's an investment that has to be undertaken. And it's not like we have trial accounts yeah. in Classic either. Well, at the moment at least. So it should be fine in terms of not having too much spam, but it will be on the players at the end of the day to report stuff and actually make it usable. Yeah. So those, I would say, are the main benefits. Onto the parts where I think there are problems. This is related to the group browser part of the tool. You can okay. list your class as a role you cannot do. Why is this a thing? So I understand some groups may end up running dungeons where they do four dps one healer wants to get enough gear or maybe even five dps as dks who knows yeah and that's fine you just advertise in the extra oh, i remember back in wrath like how would you do ramparts five dks maybe you get like a paladin or something like that to heal you but most of the time five dks xbox that you're going to be doing that but if i'm a warlock why can I set myself as a healer? What am I going to be creating health stones and handing out bandages? In fact, if I list myself as a role my class cannot do, it just says no roles have been filled on the UI. I don't see why this exists. When you It seems like an obvious oversight to join a group it doesn't show what specialization you're playing if you need a healer and a dps and a shaman joins they have to confirm that in text same problem when combining groups just on a larger scale nothing's really yeah. known about who is joining your party group d listings are auto updated on the ui but not changes to the size of the party i.e people joining or leaving and you have to dynamic. press refresh a lot. The group finder UI isn't movable or resizable. It looks the part, but finding a group will be an ongoing effort of spamming refresh. I'd want to yeah. keep it somewhere where it's taking up a bit less of the real estate of my screen. So those are the main issues for me. And aside from that, this tool really has to be better than the looking for group bulletin board add-on. If you don't consider the bulletin board add-on instantly obsolete when this tool officially releases, it's just not good enough. It should I think I I don't understand why Blizzard doesn't just take what they have in retail WoW. Just do that. I, I, I feel like just, just take that tool and just put it in Wrath. I, I think that maybe they're worried about classic players getting upset that there's something from retail being put into Wrath of the Lich King. But in my opinion, I think it's just the best version of the tool that exists. And so just put that in the game.
should be immediately like and clearly solution. an upgrade which everybody will want to use. The worst case scenario here is the player base split between using two separate sources for doing the same thing. Yeah. Even using both should be considered a loss here, as the whole idea with the LFG tool is it takes spam out of the chat and into a tool where people can easily and quickly match with each other. The LFG tool in its current state is not better than the Bolton board add-on, it's a competitor to it, not strictly an upgrade. In terms of the thing Bolton board does better, it's resizable, it auto updates when new posts come in the chat, and the UI has more customization options for appearances. It looks better. And this is also like, I would say this is probably even a little bit better than what they have in game. Uh, in terms of like how long the group's been there. Yeah, this is just like small quality of life features. Like, I think that like what should stay classic, I feel like friction that is created by like bad systems or like bad menus, that's not really classic wow. That's just annoying. It's like there were certain things back in the day that they just didn't have the technology for. The timer's great. Yeah, I think so too. I'll be right back. I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, I'll choose the bathroom. I'll be good. Couldn't get groups on my pally. I could, I could always find groups. It was never an issue back in like original Wrath. On to the second part of the video, feature criticism. Aside from how the tool works, will it do its job? So yeah. I want to highlight a few things here. With the retail tool, 99% of the time it's being used for a specific activity. You list that you're doing a specific Mythic Plus dungeon or a specific raid. It's tailored to finding a group for one activity. In Wrath, at least early game, you want to do heroic dungeons literally any of them for badges how is being saved factored into this are you just going to join a group and find out oh no i'm saved for that dungeon that you want to do sorry guys bye bye mind you early on in new retail expansions people do world tours of mythic zero for gear and that seems to work out okay in my experience so maybe i i think honestly just queuing up and just asking somebody are you saved i don't think that you necessarily need a lot of restrictions for this you just ask somebody like, are, are you saved to the instance? And they're like, no. Okay. All right. You zone in. That's it. Right. It's, it's not, I, I don't, I just, I don't see this as like really that big of a deal being saved isn't a problem. What about before the end game though? Not having LFD for leveling is a real shame. There's yeah. nothing else to be said about it. Imagine hitting up the hinterlands questing for a while and thinking, gee, I could sure go for a run in Maradon, for example. Let me just spend 30 minutes. Well, that's the exact fucking dungeon that I said, because that's the one that nobody ever fucking wants to go to. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It, there's nothing remotely close to it. There's no flight paths nearby. Even getting to the dungeon is fucking annoying. So, yeah, exactly. Just like Maradon. Perfect. Getting there, specifically for vanilla content, the world is huge. And with yeah. XP being squished between levels 10 and 60 in TBC and 60 to 70 in Wrath, there's just not really as much need to run dungeons. In vanilla, it made sense to prepare your quest log for dungeons because there was so much experience mm -hmm. needed to level up. Nowadays, this just isn't the case anymore. It feels like people, if they aren't already, which I think they are, will largely skip anything which is out of the way and will just do the dungeons which are really conveniently placed. Exactly. Hello, stockades, Zulfarak, and so on. And let's be honest, nobody's going to be running to the entrance of sunken temple again are they do you remember no there's a fucking dragon in the middle of it why would you go <laughs> he's he's right there he's he's right there like well you don't want to fucking deal with that shit i think he's an elite too fuck that so i think there's a lot of people again it's that you just have to design things expecting that people are going to be lazy because that's the truth that's what's going to happen people are going to be fucking lazy how far you have to run to get inside that place for vanilla there is certainly an yeah. argument for teleporting to dungeons or at least to the meeting stone outside of dungeons maybe with a cooldown or tbc and wrath content i think the whole traveling to dungeons is actually completely fine everything is in the zone where you're currently leveling or the mo uh, that is only tr that so like the, the only exception there is t uh, caverns of time dungeons but yeah most part anyways when you want to do hellfire dungeons you're a few minutes right away there. and you're leveling yeah. in hellfire same for zangamash at low level deal. 60s alkindun at middle level 60s and so on and in wrath there's 150 percent flying speed mounts which are really cheap that you can buy from level 60 so yeah. not too many excuses on getting there yourself i don't think 
same goes for Wrath. The dungeons are in the zone that's already appropriate for your level. And yeah, for level cap and endgame stuff, again, flying mounts, it's just not really too far. Sure, the queue system is better and more convenient, but I just don't think it's a big deal. I think the whole keeping stuff same server is also worth trying. It may not pan out long term, but let's try something different. Let's give it a go. Honestly, I, I think that if they're going to keep things cross server, or sorry, same server, the Bl Blizzard devs should just be honest with themselves. If you are on a server that's like super low pop, I don't feel like you should be punished with really long queue times because Blizzard can't manage their servers. They should combine the LFG systems and stuff like that if they do this later on with other servers if they're the small servers. Like big servers, no, there's no reason to, to, to need that, right? But like, let's say you're Horde on Benediction or Alliance on Feralina, you're gonna have a bad time. It's a bummer. Yeah, it's just, it, it's not, it's not a good time. Don't think people play into community nearly as much as they used to, like not even remotely close. But repeat groups with people can happen and it less frequently leads to toxic behavior. And if it does, hey, that person goes straight on the ignore list and you know you're never going to see them again. And so Bro, like, see, that's like, it's weird for me because like, you know what I used to do is like whenever I was level 80, I got level 80, I always just ran the heroics every day with my guild. I never even played with anybody else that wasn't in the guild. And then by the time that, like, we did Nax 10 a couple of times, well, I didn't need to do heroics anymore, really. Like, except for I was, like, a trinket that I needed as, like, a mirror of some fucking bullshit. And, like, two other things that I kind of needed. But, like, I probably didn't buy them so I could make the loot council feel sorrier for me. And then they'd give me the items out of the raid, right? Because uh, I still had blues. So that's probably, like, uh, like, thinking back on, on my mindset back then, that's what I would probably do. So, yeah, yeah, the trinket, exactly actually having to list yourself to find a dungeon this is the bit that i don't like and i think misses the mark across the entire system i'd be down for automatic grouping if it's same server for all areas of content as in you list yourself for what you want to do when the game finds four other people with a similar interest you get a party assembled ready check everybody presses yes your group is assembled and then you will make your way to the dungeon chances are you may even run multiple dungeons with these people for vanilla content i just don't believe dungeons will be run often due to how leveling is structured and spread out and i think that's bad for the game i think that it is a better experience for new players or people leveling new characters to be able to look forward to doing certain dungeons at certain levels and getting cool gear out of those dungeons i i find that to be a good experience so like in my mind they should do that for low level players for sure Anything anything above 60, I don't really give a shit about it, but low level for sure. I would be fine in this instance being teleported to the dungeon or at least the meeting stone. For TBC and beyond, I think the run wherever yeah. you are in the world is short enough exactly for dungeons right, so, to be yeah. okay. There is the case he where knows. you're in Stormwind or Orgrimmar and you want to go to a dungeon in Northrend. Then again, her stones are only on a 30 minute cooldown now. And if it's not up, there should be two other people that can go to the meeting stone. So my ideal LFG does still involve automation to assemble a group. You keep it same server, you teleport to dungeon or meeting stone for vanilla content. You run to the dungeon for TBC and Wrath content. It keeps the whole social same server thing that Blizzard want to do going. Interactions through the LFG tool are very sparse. Often it's I don't really care that much about same server, but if it was up to me, everybody would play on the same server. There would only be one server. One server to rule them all. And there would be, like, everybody would be in the same city. You, It would just be, like, this massive fucking thing. Like, why? Yeah, servers, why anything else at all? Yeah, exactly. Like, I, that would be insane. It'd be fucking awesome. There'd be like, because you'd have, like, at a certain point, you'd have to give people reasons to, like, go sit in Darnassus because there'd be too many people in Stormwind, right? You could have, like, different channels, too, like, layers. Uh, I think that'd be fine as well. But, yeah, I think that'd be fucking badass. Like, I, I like the idea of, like, whenever a new game comes out or, like, something crazy happens, everybody's fucking there. That's cool.
just going to be the leader sorting through the 452 DPS applications they've received to see which mage has the highest item level. Auto grouping is really, really beneficial for casual yeah. players who want to do some chill dungeons. Wrath is by far the most casual friendly World of Warcraft has been in the classic timeline so far, Absolutely. and it stops the inevitable, this will happen by the way, XYZ item is reserved, no clothies because the leader's a warlock, and so on and so forth meta. And it also does- I don't think that's a big deal, I'll say this again, I really don't think it's a big deal. I really dislike the mindset that players have about how they want to change the rules of the game because they don't like other people playing the game in a way that they don't like. I hate that. And I think that is a, it is reductive to the game. Reserving things and doing GDKPs, this is emergent player behavior. It's good. People can be able, people should be able to make a group, make the rules with what they want. It's their group. Doesn't stop people from it's being able to form sense. groups within their own social circles or guilds if that's what they prefer. I think this is a win win. Not only is it better than what the LFG is currently in Classic, it's better than what we yeah. had in Wrath as well. This would overhaul the whole system though, so I don't expect it to happen. But at least I also included some feedback for how the I'm current sure they'll tool probably works improve as it. well. Hopefully that can be looked at before we launch late September. That's about everything for today though. It's quite a divisive topic, so we'll see how this goes. I'm expecting a lot of comments on this one do let me know your thoughts though i feel like it doesn't like i mean like these kinds of things matter to me a little bit but like honestly like i played wrath back in the day man i just want to play the game again like i i don't bro like all these like granular like fucking like it, it's like how, how many p specks of sand are there is there 11 or 12 like i don't really give a shit i just want to play wrath again because it's fun and like whatever the group finder is it is what it is and that's it i i, I don't want to have like like to me it's like i don't need endless discussions about it like i'll watch videos and like see what's going on sure yeah whatever but like at the end of the day i don't really give a fuck i just want to play wrath any feedback i think is a positive thing that's it as always guys thank you all so much for watching and listening in and i'll see you all in the next one very soon yeah, I really hope that they're able to figure it out. Um, I do think I do have a pretty strong opinion, however, on making it to where low level players can use the group finder. I, I, I feel like that is very important to have. You know, some amount of mo moment ready to play with you. Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've kind of always felt that way. I mean, if, if you're like, oh, well, you are, uh, people will always play with you. You are play with people. Here's the thing. Anybody who's actually good at World of Warcraft knows this. If you're good at the game and you're playing with like some group or whatever, let me go back to it real quick. This is another video I was watching. Going into um, you're gonna get people that want to play with you. If you're a mage and you top DPS every fucking run, you're gonna get people that want to make a group around you. It's the same as being a warrior that's like does a lot of damage or like a really good tank, etc. So just get good at the game and you're not going to have a problem. Or join a guild or something like that. I, I don't think that's really out, outside of the question either. Yeah, exactly. Uh, heals happens a lot. Yeah, like I would, bro, like how many of you guys like added a tank or added a healer onto your, uh, your friends list after you did a group with them? Like, bro, like you should come back like and, and let's do more stuff together, man. Uh, that's the way I see it. And uh, being a healer gets you a free pass everywhere. Yeah, it's like, so if you don't like that, just play play a spec that's more useful. And, and like, people always complain about that shit. They're like, well, I don't want to play this spec. It's like, yeah, you shouldn't really have to. But if you don't have, if you don't do that, you're, this is, it's going to take longer because there's more people that want to play this other spec. It's just common sense. And I think that that gets a lot better in Wrath, though. You're going to have a lot more people playing tanks. You're going to have a lot more people uh, th that are willing to tank. Because tank was really the limiting variable. Healers were, you know, you, you would have healers relatively often. And, and so I think it'll improve quite a bit. And um, if Shami had a healer friend, we'd, uh, we'd get each other into pugs. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you'd have a friend. It's like your friend got into like a, an ICC. It's like, bro, can you get me in? Right? Like, that's always how it was going to go. And so I... Uh, I, I feel like people need to remember that. And also, like, the system doesn't really matter for somebody who is in a guild of people that play together regularly. 
And that's what I did back in Original Wrath. It was fucking amazing. And hopefully that's what's going to happen in, uh, in Classic Wrath 2. But I do think conversations like this are important. However, um, in terms of like end game, I don't really care what they do because I'll probably just play with friends of mine or whatever and um, or people in my guild. And I think that's what I would recommend anybody else to do as well. But I do feel strongly that they should have a random dungeon finder for uh, low level players, people that are under level 60, level 60 and under. And so that, that's generally the way that I feel about it. And what are people's comments? How do it take longer to find a group than actually running the dungeon? And, and yeah, this is, obviously, this is obviously kind of like a bad thing. That it takes longer to organize something than it does to do it. Uh, I would absolutely say this is a bad thing. Uh, I'm in favor of auto-invite too because you said dealing with DPS applications are going to be a headache. Uh, XYZ item is reserved, no clothies because the leader's a warlock. Already happens with auto-invite. just means unwanted people get kicked instead of ignored. That's actually true. We would do that very regularly. Uh, we actually did that with the bear mount in Cataclysm. Is that We would actually do bear runs with three people. It would be four of us, right? And uh, it'd be like three carries the buyer, and then we'd random queue the fifth person. And then after we use them to clear the raid and get to the bear, and or not raid, it's dungeons, five man, we'd vote kick them out while the NPC was running around breaking the pots to open the bear mount. And we'd save money that way because we had to split it less ways. One time, somebody, like, we kicked the guy out of there, and he messaged me. He's like, bro. Did you really just kick me before the bear? And I'm like, yeah, we did because we wanted to uh, we wanted to get the money for ourselves. And he's like, bro, that's really fucking smart. Damn. Like you guys. So like, because I've been trying to get the bear. I thought I was going to get it. And we're like, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of like this guy. All right, we'll give him. And we just gave him a free run after that. We're like, yeah, I kind of like this guy. Even though, even though we just kicked you out. It's like, you want you want us to go get you a bear too? He's like, yeah, sure. And then we just went back and did it again. That's evil. I, but yeah, it's just, bro, we did whatever we needed to do. And uh, yeah, and then, so we went with four and then we kicked, and then I, I'm like, okay, bro, this is where you kick them out. And then we had him kick out the next guy. So like you begin the cycle all over again. He's like, wow, that was really fun. I'm like, yeah, welcome to the dark side. And that was it. It was a different time. Yeah, uh, I, I had a lot of fun back in Cataclysm. Um, as I said, uh, the cat this real real story of Asmongold for Cataclysm is absolutely going to be a villain arc. Uh, you you guys will see. And I really acknowledge it. Yeah, it was whatever. And um, anyway, yeah, I, I look forward to the game uh, being out and be able to play it and everything. It'll, it'll be great. Uh, yeah, log on TBC. I mean, there's nothing really to do on TBC. Like, I, I don't really care. I mean, the only gear that you can get that really matters is, like, uh, Sunwell gear. Uh, I'm not going to do Sunwell. It's just it's just not going to happen. Uh, I'll probably just goof around and then level up in Wrath. Like, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm, my plans are to do exactly what I did in Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King. Do Sunwell for content? Why? It's just going to be people that do them. They, they, it's just going to be, like, one person who runs on top of somebody else with... Uh, w with the meteor strike or not meteor strike, a fucking fell fire, whatever it is, on, on Brutalis, and then oh, somebody stood in a raid with Conflag on Twin Aradar. Oh, great. Okay, now we've got to spend t thirty more minutes doing this. I don't want to do that. Like it's it's not fun for me. Like I don't want to have my time wasted because somebody's too stupid to read their debuffs. I I'm sorry. I just like I don't know what happened with me, but like there was like a switch that flipped in my head one day where I realized how much time I was wasting because somebody can't move left. And I said, fuck it. Never again. That's what it was. You know, no add-ons telling you have the debuff? Oh, people just try to do more damage. That's all there was to it. And uh, yeah, seven hours of girl probably flipped the switch. Well, that's content. Like, I, I will sit around. I will wipe for 12 hours if people think it's funny to watch. Like, I, I don't care. It's just, it's entertainment, right? But if I'm doing this for my own personal enjoyment, no. No. No, no, no. Not, not enjoying it. Not enjoying it unless the audience is enjoying it. That's about it. POE isn't time wasting. Well, whenever I die, and I, I, I mean, that's the reason why I logged off today is I died. I'm just like, fuck this. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, that's what it is. 
I have 53 gruels for DST on my warrior. Only once, everyone stacked on the brisk. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's every once in a while, there's dumb people. And I just raid with Cody. That was a bad raid. I'll, I'll give you that. I think it was New World because uh, if you died, all the gear in your bags would get damaged too. Yeah, maybe that, that was a factor as well. And I uh, want to see another Gruul's Lair. Well, we will do start. We will do all the raids. We will do all the raids at the beginning. And the plan is so. Um, whenever Wrath comes out, it'll probably be me and McConnell, maybe some other people leveling up, same as we did in BC. And uh, we're gonna get to level 80, and we're gonna do Nax, and we're just gonna reserve all the loot. Like, we're going to reserve everything. We're going to reserve uh, every piece of gear in the raid. Now, if we can't use it, we'll give it to some. We'll roll it off, sure. And uh, But besides that, yeah, that, that's about it. We run CA today, get you the bear mount or what? Dude, no, I, I, I have no interest. I have the bear mount. I have no interest in reclaiming past glories. I already have them. I have the memories. I, I don't need to do this again. I beat the game. That's the way I see it, man. Yeah, I, I fucking beat the game. Like, I beat the game back then, I, and I'm going to beat it again. The way I'm going to treat... As I said, the way I'm going to treat Wrath of the Lich King is like a fucking kid that comes in to his high school a year after he graduated. He's going in with sunglasses on. He's living a free fucking life. He's wearing a hat. The rules are you can't wear a hat, but he's wearing a fucking hat. Why is that? Because he fucking graduated. He owns this bitch now, and he's just here for his transcript. He's going to get that, then he's going to drive over to McDonald's and do whatever the fuck he wants. That's what I'm going to do with Wrath of the Lich King. I'm there for my fucking victory lap. That's all it is, man. Oh, will you stream Wrath on your main channel? I plan on it, yes. Uh, absolutely.